thought I shoot another garden update. It's been a week, but you know, it's springtime and things are changing fast. The uh, you know, flowers here on the back are starting to you know go out, so I'll, I'll probably trim these back in a in a little bit. Uh, I've got to trim the juniper here as well. We're getting a lot of growth. Uh, interesting. I put this cactus outside, thinking that. Uh, it was going to be happy, and it's gone from dark green to light green, and it's getting a little kind of brown around the top, so I have no idea what's happening here. The thought that a cactus is apparently a, anemic to sunlight, I, I, I don't understand that. Uh, so I'm going to have to read about that some. I've got my plants put in. The last uh, Saturday and Sunday, I dug these in and I, I put more mulch around. Uh, I can't remember the name of these, these ground cover, but these should uh, grow in and, and fill it in. Uh, here and here, those are both uh, those are both uh, bleeding hearts. And this one, again, I, I don't remember the names of any of these, but it, it's, it's going to have a, a red growth. So the, the new growth every year is red. got my uh, my maples dug in. I'm gonna probably trim some of the lower branches here at some point. And I've got my ground cover planted. So I've got 11 of these. I, I spread them out as evenly as I could and, and put mulch around. Uh, my hope is that if I can get these guys uh, you know, rooted well this year, they'll survive next year and then uh, summer 2021 we'll get uh, spreading. Uh, this is a beautiful ground cover. It's, uh, it's going to have these little purple flowers, and uh, it's going to be low to the ground, and it should, you know, I'll, I'll have to even things out here as uh, as it grows, but it, it should give us a, a nice, uh, a nice, uh, soft uh, coverage. These uh, surprised me. I, I, you know, had these plants, these bushes for two years, and there were never any flowers. Turns out, when you trim them back and you give them a little fertilizer, they're uh, they're lilacs. <laughs> so <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, the clematis are doing well. Uh, some of them are starting to flower. Again, I, I, I got some fresh mulch in here and I've got uh, see oh yep so I've got a, a pink one that's that's going and that's uh, actually this is one of the new plants I put in so this this was the new clematis the others were were all uh, uh, survivors and I think I've got buds on those yes yeah, so I've got a bud here and I think I've got one coming up here as well but they're doing quite well this year uh, the roses are coming on. I'm going to have to do some trimming here. I want to keep the roses kind of short and squat and try to get as many flowers as I can. The, uh, this is the uh, Chicago, uh, Chicago Hardy um, fig and the figs are, are still setting quite well and I've got a bunch of new growth here so I'm, I'm excited about that. Uh, I want to get this transplanted into my uh, pot before, uh, my indoor pot, before it comes too far along. Uh, my one, two, three, four different variety of daisies uh, seem to be setting in well. They're uh, having a little bit of trouble in the heat but if I keep them watered I think that they'll, they'll be happy. And my red twig dogwood is starting to come back. Uh, it took about a year for that guy to, to set in. I've got a bunch of grass I need to, to do something about. Uh, but in here I, I planted a, uh, a bearded iris and I uh, took it out of the pot. And right as I took it out of the pot, I dropped it on the ground and broke off some of the, oh, some of the leaves. But, uh, I'm hoping it, it, it survives. I, yeah, I was just kind of 
disappointing all around. The herbs are doing quite well except for the basil. And I have no idea why. So I've got uh, dill, uh, chives, oregano, parsley, and then the basil. And the basil just looks awful. And I don't understand why. I'm, I'm going to give it a trim. Try to get rid of the yellow leaves and the brown leaves and see if it takes. Uh, I don't know what to say about it. It's basically sitting out here getting full sun. I'm, you know, watering it every other day. I gave it a little bit of uh, uh, Schultz all-purpose plant food. Um, maybe it doesn't like the, the, the plant food. I don't, I don't know what, what happened, but uh, everything else seems to like it. So I can't really explain. And a bunch more grass I'm gonna take care of at some point, maybe tomorrow morning. I say that every day, tomorrow morning. Uh, succulents are going crazy. The, the new ice plants uh, seem to be setting in well. You know, this one's finally quit flowering, so I'm hoping that the, we're gonna get some root growth and everyone else, uh, everyone else is, is uh, really experiencing some aggressive growth. I've, I've planted in, uh, I, I put uh, plant food out for all of these. Uh, this, uh, I think this is called a, a type of a lemon lime plant. Uh, it seems to be uh, quite happy here, and I've, I've started to expand the uh, succulents over to this side as well. I, I'm, I'm thinking about uh, cutting out uh, some of this uh, some of this juniper and try to expand the uh, try to expand the succulents down the hill some. You know, just just keep planting because these are really actually gorgeous plants. I did not like succulents up until moving to Washington and now they, they've really grown on me. Uh, these are my uh, decorative sweet potatoes and you know my plan was to put these pots up you know above a window. I mean in, in Japan that was something I saw people doing and it seemed like a really cool idea of having your, your vines run down the in front of your windows to act as shade. So you'd have, you know, solar panels to, to shade your windows. Uh, but I don't know an easy way to keep watering them if I do that. So I need to, need to rethink that plan. Uh, same thing, I need to rethink, well, it's too late now, but I should have rethought uh, actually getting these in the first place because they are annual plants, not uh, perennial. So uh, I originally thought I'd, I'd plant these as ground cover, but they in in this uh, this growth zone it's not viable. Got a bunch of weeding to do over here, and uh, again my my shrub. I need to, uh, I guess, put up rabbit wire. I don't know. The rabbits keep taking this thing down to the ground. The, this is the uh, what's called the Tinkerbell uh, lilacs, or I think it was pixie lilacs or Tinkerbell, some along those lines. Uh, it's doing very well. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the other two lilacs have already completed, so I, I deadheaded those and. Uh, been watering and, and fertilizing those, so we should get some some nice uh, growth this year. Uh, two of the three uh, Chinese wisteria have taken off. The third one, uh, I'm still not seeing any buds, <laughs> so it, it could be dead. Uh, so I'm not entirely certain how I'm going to address that. Uh, it might be something that I, I, uh, I say, I don't have no idea how I'm going to address that. Uh, I thought it was going to be, you know, kind of gorgeous to have this wall of wisteria here. Uh, but I don't know how I can make that happen at this point. You know, short of uh, digging 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm getting some growth down there. I've got two little buds. So maybe, oh, and here's one too. Ah, it's not dead. Fantastic. Just a slow bloomer. So I guess uh, this one doesn't, uh, we're not gonna get a growth spurt until June. That's okay. It's, it's uh, worth the wait to get, and actually I wonder why that is. So the, the, one, the, the one that was the furthest in started growing first, and then this one came about two weeks later, and this one's actually about a month, month and a half later. So uh, I can't really explain that. They're, I think, identical plants. It just must have something to do with, with it, where they're placed, I guess. And out here I've got cleaning to do. Uh, but not today, because today I'm going to go to the lake, up to uh, Rock Lake, and uh, get around there some. So that's the garden update.